everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the Reapers are on their last legs now. We're just going to push straight in and take them on head on. Alright, here we go. So, it looks like they're down in the valley here. So this is a four skull against the clans. I'll be interested to see what they've got here. Uh, they got an archer. I don't know. That looks like a Highlander to me. It's like a mad cat or a timber wolf. Okay, so we could be up some up against some serious resistance here. We'll have to play it by ear. There could be more than one lance too. Although I did kind of check all the way around here to see if there's anything else. It doesn't seem like there was, although it doesn't mean there isn't. It could get reinforcements or it could just be one of their heavy lances. So we'll have to find out here. Um, who's up first? We brought everybody. Uh, I don't think we're going to engage directly first we're gonna have a bad chance to hit so I want to kind of just like out. get out of their line of sight position then we'll figure out what we're doing from that point so let's just brace here oh we got another guy up here marauder okay so that's five we're seeing down in the valley they got good initiative here too Okay, a pair of Gauss Rifles could be very, very problematic. Who was that though? The Highlander? Or was that, uh, this guy? That guy. Alright. Well, we know who is one of the primary targets. This guy probably has a Gauss Rifle. So nothing has really changed since the last battle. I haven't done any adjustments to the mechs. Although I am updated to the most recent version of Rogue Tech, so... Reporting. Minimal damage. In the missions I've been playing, I haven't really noticed... Yeah. ...any AI, um, advancements. The AI is supposed to be better, but I don't know, I haven't... Like I said, I haven't noticed it yet, so... Confirmed. Figure that out soon enough. Okay, let's get you in there. I'm still thinking about the next series, though. Uh, a lot of people have brought up some great points. Um, I've been reading the comments and everything. I haven't commented on them just yet. It's Sunday afternoon for me. Um, I haven't commented on them just yet. Because uh, I want to be able to think about it first a little bit. That guy looks like a Zeus. I don't think it is, though. The shoulders remind me of a Zeus, but I don't don't think it is. It's not fully like a Zeus. Um, but yeah, so I, I got to think about him a bit more. People have brought up some good good points. Aye, aye. Uh, what do we got? MRMs and that's a transformer, right? Probably. Let's get over here. On the move. You need to get a little closer, so I want to get you down the ramp. Get you on this going this way here a little bit. Order. You need to be in a good firing position far enough away that you can shoot, but not far enough away that or far enough away that it's gonna be hard for them to hit you, but not far enough away that you can't shoot, that is. Uh the Highlander hasn't gone yet. I don't want to give him a an opportunity to sh shoot you, so let's just get over here for now. We'll figure it out next turn. Man, this is the point where, like, having, like, slick sweets in your cockpits is, like, really important to crank up your initiative. I right, a little bit of swarm ammo. I'm showing minor damage. That's all you got? Apparently. Oh, I forgot we got thunder. You want thunder? Moving out. I forgot we had thunder. Where are we dropping it though? Probably here. 
I think the most number of their mechs need to kind of come through that area. On it. I don't expect this to take legs in any way, but it will soften them up a little bit so we can go after the legs. All right, bomber, let's not go too far. Can you see? I don't think you can. Maybe you can't see them directly. Maybe we do need to go far. Yeah, you can see over. Got to be very careful with this Nidhogg on this mission. Throttling up for what it's worth. At a certain point, the flyers are going to become, I don't want to say irrelevant, but a lot harder to, to use because a lot of them need to get yeah. relatively close to be effective. Uh, we're waiting for the next turn, I think. Let's get up here. So the problem with needing to get close to be effective is that it, it basically opens yep. them up to being able to shoot you. So, I want you on the other side, but you can't get there. That might work. Got it. No shooting, just running. Okay, not bad. Now, we've got a pilot in the face, this Fox, Order. who's relatively new, so... She's not going to have the best chance to hit, but at least we got a little bit of fire support here, you know? You're a little unstable. What guy is that? Did he come off the ramp? That's the Marauder? I think so. We got the ammo. I'm not gonna fire the LRM, but we'll fire this. Confirm. Well, I guess I gotta be careful because it could clear the minefield too. Wait, it's not high explosive, so it shouldn't. Okay, so he took some damage. Come on, you guys. Go ahead and move first. Move first. Got to get my AMSs on uh, overload they here. They can hurt me. Well, they can. They can hurt you quite well. This guy's going to die first. Landed in the minefield. 22 damage. Waiting for orders. You're on the wrong side. I should have moved you this way first. Let's get over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop some LRMs. It's a thug. Is that an awesome? Is the thug the, uh, the awesome hero mac or something? I can't remember. It looks... It kind of looks like an awesome, but it also looks like a uh, a Zeus with the shoulders and, the, and stuff. I don't know. Receiving you. All right, let's get to work. Roger. Let's start opening up on these guys. The first turn's gone. This guy is braced in forest, but that's fine. Three hits, nice. Yeah, he's got like 40% damage reduction. Maybe it is an awesome variant. Losing armor. Who's losing armor? Did you actually get hit? You didn't get hit. How are you losing armor? What do you need? Don't understand how you lose an armor. No way to get that guy, huh? Yep. What about you? You can. All right, let's just pull out here. Going full throttle. We'll have to wait one more for t full turn, I guess, before we can uh, really open up on these guys. I am, however, going to use controlled bursts. Uh, and two SRM6s and two ERPPCs. That's an assault mech too, so maybe it is like the, uh, it's either a, like a Zeus or a uh, awesome variant. Wow, we missed that many times, huh? What do you need? 
Yeah, we're out of range, so... We're not in a position where we can shoot, so that's fine. We're just gonna move up. I wasn't sure if we'd all be able to shoot this turn anyway. So it's fine. Once we're once we're controlling this area, we can funnel them into a certain kill kill box or a kill zone. We should be better off. Like if we were to go this way, it's just letting them kill us, right? Good to go. They could just focus fire one person at a time. Copy. Alright, we'll see what your chance to hit is here. Okay. No back shots. Roger. Nice. No back shots. It's always a win when I don't shoot my own guys in the back. I like that. I still like the uh, damaging your teammates. Ooh, that's good damage. As much as I've been on the on the uh, fuck really. I'm hit. As much as I've been on the receiving end of that a lot. It still makes the most sense, and it makes you makes you think about how you're going to move your guy. Uh, let's get this on overload. Then we want to go ahead and do... Nope, this one, this one. Right in here, I think. Aye, aye. We got one more turn of minefields after this. We gotta get you got into play, it. so let's move Don't up. Think. Don't shoot. Just run. Gotta be in a strike position here. Uh, let's just fire these. Soften them up a little bit. What no? What no? Just keep flying along this way. You'll get your chance. Stay behind the buildings if you can. I love how it figures out height and everything. It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Good to go. Okay, already up. Wow, four percent, huh? This guy's far enough away from the minefield, so let's just go this way. Yep. At least, it, at least it didn't land in the minefield. Okay, he lost evasive. He goes on 21. We're on 22 here. Ready for order. He's unstable. We should take advantage of that. Ooh, that's... Not a great positioning, but... We'll be moving down in a second off this hill. Hopefully we can have this guy down by the time everyone else is coming down. Uh, let's warlord this. Max our chance to hit and firing. Okay, we got some exposed structure on him now. Worst case scenario, or best case scenario, is this guy runs away. This monument's kind of blocking those guys. Should be able to take that guy down this turn. Ooh, more minefield damage. The flare's going. I can think they did, they're de finally detecting the Nidhogg moving up. So that's a that's the Mark II Mad Cat, right? So that's like the 50 tonner, isn't it? That's the 50 tonner, I think. Commander. Still, it's a pretty cool mech. Get into here. Shoulder to shoulder. Don't shoot him in the back. Four hits. Nice. It's unsteady again. So who's the guy with the two gosses then? The archer? Nope. Maybe it was the uh, Highlander that had the two gosses. Or the Marauder? I don't know. 
Find out now. No oh, PPCs. Maybe it was the Mad Cat then. I'm listening. Okay, I think we move you over to a strike position here. High tailing it. Yes, I am. I got to get used to using these faster, lighter mechs um, and not uh, like forcing myself to have them shoot every turn. Because maneuvering them in like this and getting in a good strike position yeah. will probably net me a lot of kills. Let's move in the heck here. Let's move. All right, we're going to open up on this guy with everything. Roger. Too many misses for my liking. Scored a critical hit. Yep. Okay, do we do fire suppression or do we do... No, we've got this guy left. So let's just... You're in the fire suppression mode this turn. Let's get up into here. Moving We're gonna go the... out. We're gonna go after the um, Marauder, I think. Yeah, not too bad. I'm going to throw some acid on it, though. And I'm going to Warlord it, I think. Might as well get it up there now. Take this. Okay, two PPC hits. Nice. And that's a lot of acid. That's a lot of acid. Hey. Alright, it's almost time. Oof, they can kind of see you there. Let's go to here. Affirmative. Go fly in in a second. Receiving you. All right. Um, you like here probably. Lock it I think. Up. I think that's probably a good spot. Yes, Commander. And we'll choose the same target here. Copy that. Reporting All right. critical hit. If we got lucky, we can get that lacerator around behind the uh, yeah flatline is down in initiative because of the head hit. We can get the if we get lucky, we'll get the lacerator lacerator around behind the Highlander. Let's see if we can bring this guy down. I think we just go straight up for a kill here. Nice. There's the knockdown. Hello. There you go. Alright, well, we saved some components off that guy. Looks like it was an inner sphere variant, so it probably had a regular XL engine in it. Oh no, it couldn't. Well, yeah, I guess it did. We took its arms off. No, oh, that's, that's really bad. We took its arms off. off. Not its uh, torsos, I think, so. Hard hit there. So who do we want to go after now? Switch to the Marauder, I think. We'll shift over to this side of the of the uh, of the ramp and go after this Marauder. I think so. Pull the Marauder down, then we'll worry about these other guys. I don't think we've got a go-to position for the Lacerator though. That I can stay hidden. Okay, not oh shit whatever not too bad like I mean we might be able to depends on where that Highlander goes right is he backing up he is I'm 
I'm under heavy fire here. I can see that. Maybe we switch up to this guy then. So that's the guy with the gauze. Right through the armor too. Well, I didn't think this was going to be an easy match. So that's the right torso. Aye, aye. Stay on target, Understood. stay here. Let's get the guys down, we need to get down. Acid ammo again, firing. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do this. Try and burn this archer and then get out of there. Full speed sounds good. We're gonna try and burn this archer and get out of here. We won't be able to get out of there if I do this. I leave this off though. We'll get full speed out of there. I think I would rather go with the heavier hitter. Let's go this route, see if we can burn this archer. Yeah, it's gonna, it's like, I think we're already at that point where the, the, uh, the, um, rocket launchers are, uh, having minimal effect here. That's actually pretty good on this guy. Put that bad on him. Okay, let's get into here. Oh boy, here, here we, we go. go. Gonna go in the archer, I think. Ah, shit, our guy's like right here. See if we can get the knockdown. Here we go. There's the knockdown. Okay, so he's down to one in his head. Yes, Commander. Gonna be in range of that Goss rifle next Bad turn. Move. So we did good damage to the leg. Let's go after this leg. On it. Leg gone. Scored critical hit. Okay, flat line. Think he can pull the other leg? Receiving you. Maybe. Location confirmed. Do I go crazy on this, or do I just kind of like try and get it? I think we just try and get it. Nice. There we go. One less target. Because I figured if we didn't get it, we could use the uh, one of these guys to target them. All right. So. Uh, Standing by. All right, Rusty. Uh, we're gonna warlord this guy, and we're gonna swap up. We got thirty thunder rounds left. Incendiary. Who needs some... This guy needs some heat, I think. They're all, like, running fairly cool, though. He's got a Gauss. Two LRM-10s. Two ER mediums. Yeah, the mine's better here, though. Probably. I'm at a long range missile. Not a lot of heat, but receiving you. Whatever. It's not far the artillery there. I don't think this clears the minefield, but I would rather not risk it. Just far the uh incendiaries. Minor amounts of heat. Yes, command.
Get to here. Move order received. Fucking mad cat. I'll drop the tandem sign as well. Yeah, he's taking a lot more damage because of all the acid. We, like, we've hit him with a lot of acid already. There we go. Enemy down. It adds up. Like, surprisingly, the MRM, the, the acid, adds up Commander. relatively quickly. Okay, we can't go there. Okay, let's get back over here. Going through, through a little bit of mines, but that's okay. One. That was worth it. That was totally worth that that run. I think. What do you need? It wasn't absolutely perfect, but it was perfect enough. You know. Let's get into here. Got it. Okay, we got great chances to hit this guy. So let's go with controlled bursts, offensive push. Let's go after this leg. Firing. He goes on 19. He's still standing in a minefield too, so, I mean... I don't know how much damage... Oh, ow. He was the guy with a pair of Gauss rifles. And now I'm a sitting duck for that Highlander. Pretty good damage. His, one of his ballistics jammed, though. Well, he jumped into a minefield. I'm here. Confirmed. All right, those are still pretty good chances to hit. Going after this leg, switching this to incendiaries, and firing. Close the leg. Okay. Commander. I think you're okay at the top of the hill here. Go after this leg. Leave that off. And yep. Bailout. I'm here. This is this is I'm risking it a little bit here, but I think if we can draw this guy's attention, it'll save our mechs. And firing. Nice, we hit. With everything, that's beautiful. Lost his, uh, yeah, steady footing. Let's give him someone to look at. Somebody with lots of armor. Heading out. And then we can switch these guys to... Uh... Chaff is going to hit us too if we do this. Let's just go after him. Screw it. This should knock his ass down anyway, I hope. Close. So, one of my offline plays, I had a, uh enemy Losing mech. It was a marshal. Oh, and he was jumping like around a fair bit. And he ended up on a building. And I shot him. Shot. I did enough armor. damage to um, let's get you here probably. I did enough damage to make him unstable but not enough for him to fall over. And then he jumped again landed on the ground but um, didn't fall over. Uh, it didn't say that he made a piloting roll or anything like that, so I don't know what the hell happened there. Like, you, he should fall over, because you take, you take instability, right, when you jump. So if you're completely unstable to start, and you jump, you should fall over. Moving out. Maybe it is a pilot roll, I don't know. 
Confirmed. That's the leg, I think. Is it? I got the torso. I think I hit. There we go. Doesn't matter what I got. He's gone. What's up, Fox? He's gone. This should be the knockdown, though. As long as we can hit him. There it is. Let's clean this up and go home. Show me your war face. Show me your war face. Show me I'm gonna pull this guy's leg off. Legs off like a turkey at, at uh, Christmas dinner face. Alright, uh... Try and stay away from that torso. Please, try. Or just shoot everywhere, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just shoot wherever you want. Alright, if I straight up and just attack you, pretty good chance to hit. I can leave these off though. Ooh, that pen somewhere, but I don't think it was the leg. Might have been. Might have been. Let's move. Alright, let's see what we can get here. Nope, it was not the leg, it was the CT. Because of course it was. Best chance to hit, so we'll go with those. Actually, let's warlord this. It's even better. Firing. Yep. The armor. Spread it around. Oh, he bailed! Yay! There it is, folks. Mission successful. Alright, let's see what we get out of this. We lost some money going in here, but I don't care. I mean, I got enough for the fun next financial report, just barely. So I'm okay with that. Let's see if there's, there is three parts of Islander. Wait, the Mad Cat Mark II is 90 tons? It's a Mark II, not... Oh, I'm thinking of the three. Ah, uh, do I want to take that over the Highlander parts, though? So the thug is 80 tons, so that's got to be... It doesn't have to be. I'm just thinking that that's... Looks like an awesome. Because an awesome is 80, an 80-tonner, 80 right? There's the clan Gauss rifle we've been looking for. Uh, Doesn't look to be a lot else down here that we would really want. That's kind of nice, that's kind of nice, but we don't need those right now. Clan double heat sinks okay. We got one in storage. Or Goss ammo. Already got Goss ammo. I mean, let's take the Highlander. Yeah, because we'll I mean we'll save this. Like this is really a clan max, so we'll save it for the clan playthrough. Let's go with regular with, with the regular Highlander. Alright, we got a thug part. We got the Blackwell Goss rifle. Alright, well, I mean, it's 15 tons. SRM 6 Holly. Hang on to that. Case we can drop. Endo Steel will hang on to. 320 core I'll probably hold on to. We got two plus two engine heat sinks. That's pretty nice. Clan XL, we got two. I'm going to sell this one just because we, I mean, the C bills are, are good. SLDF. We've got clan, uh, we've got those so that we can get rid of that. Light feral, I'll probably hang on to as well. There's a couple of instances where I've had trouble getting feral regular, like feral fibers into mech, so if we can get something in there, it'd be better off rather than nothing. Um, yeah, so not bad. I mean, that's actually a pretty good roll, I think. All right, let's just see here. I'm not going to put together the Highlander just yet, like. Gotta get, I gotta work on my financial situation. I haven't. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna up the uh, the salvage and stuff, the dollar values. I, I know I talked about it before. And I, I know I kind of feel guilty about it, but then I kind of I kind of don't. So mech base. So what is the Highlander? Oh, we gotta get this guy repaired. Did we lose something off there? We did not. Straight up repair that guy. So I mean, we got so many mechs to assemble here. What I want to do is I gotta get the third um, what brings you down I gotta get the uh, the um, gamma pod done here so we can have 24 mech warriors uh, because I want to be able to um, 
to go back to the mech bay real quick. Nice I want to be able to fill most of these with mechs. And then, because I was worried that if I had too many mechs, that I wouldn't be able to pay for the uh, financial report. Like right, right now, it's 1.6, almost 1.7 million. But then I'm like, yeah, but I can, if I had three lances here, like three lances of six, I could take them on each one every single day out on a mission. And I'd be tripling the amount of money I could make. Because actually just before I ran this mission, I ran two, I ran a one and a half skull mission and I ran a two and a half skull mission. Um, both of them that were really like really low level or like literally low enemies and I split up uh, the, the mech so I had the Mad Cat, the um, the Warhammer and the Avatar in one lance and I had these three in another lance and a second on the second mission and I managed to clear both of them relatively easily I didn't lose anything so Having like three lances of six might be an interesting because then we can have like you know a heavy lance, a medium lance, and a light lance, and run three different types of missions. I can do that with the multiple playthroughs too. So I'm gonna, tr I think I'm gonna try that. But I gotta get the money for the gamma pod because that's like two million. I gotta, I gotta spend. So I'll get the money for that probably this month of the gameplay. Oh yeah, we got lots of time before we can do that. And we'll have more pilots. And then, um, yeah, we should be good to go. And then I can start getting more mechs into play and have, you know, a variety of different missions. But I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.